Oh, Chris. Can you pick me a winner from yesterday's video? I've you forgotten to do it. A winner from yesterday's video. Where do I find the names? Hello, can you hear me? Hi Kim, can you hear me okay? Hello Mars! Happy Friday to you too! Hi Sue! Hi Jane, waves back. Hi Mersia. Hello Laura, lots of the design team. Yolanda's here, yay, all the way from Canada. Hi Judy, hi Jacqueline again. Oh Jacqueline, your prize went out today. Uh, okay, good, you can hear me, that's a bonus. Honestly, it's been such a week for technology, everything keeps breaking. Hi Vicky. Uh, I've just realised I haven't picked yesterday's winner and Mr Doodles doesn't know where to go to actually find it so uh, you just need to go on the Polka Doodles page um, make sure it's yesterday's though for the 9th yeah. yeah have you got it? I've got the video yeah you haven't? Hi Lynn. Oh, we've got Lee here, Alison, hi. Oh, lots of you. Vicky as well, hi. So, we're going to do another little giveaway today. Um, so, again, I'll pick this at the end. I'll do it live and hopefully Mr Doodles will have found the video from yesterday and picked me a winner from yesterday as well. Um, yeah, you got it, have you? <laughs> Maz, you know you're not allowed. A design team not allowed. So who's excited? I'm really excited. You know, <laughs> Halloween. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Halloween. I know we don't celebrate really big in the UK, but I always have. I always remember when I was little, it was always the big deal for me. It was the one thing of the year that I was never a bit of a joiner when I was a kid. You know, kind of, I, I never used to really do all that kind of joining clubs thing and all of that. Um, but the one thing I did every year and I used to absolutely love it was go out on Halloween and I always remember, I always used to dress up as a ghost and I always used to frighten the neighbours to death and take great joy in doing that. I know it's not very good really, is it? They weren't, they weren't old people, so it was okay. But um, yeah, so I always really loved Halloween. And then the other thing that we have here, um, but I don't think everywhere has it, and I don't know if you have it in the US or wherever you are, I don't know if you have it, but we have Mischief Night in Yorkshire, and I think it is actually a Yorkshire or a North of England thing. A Mischief Night is for, we have Bonfire Night on the 5th of November, which is to not celebrate, but commemorate Guy Fawkes trying to blow up the Houses of Parliament back in whenever, I don't know, the year. Um, but we have all these fireways, Firework Night, and it's amazing. Um, but we have Mischief Night, which is the day before. And on Mischief Night, all the kids go out. It's, it's a bit like your trick or treat. We used to go out and basically trick. Just There was no treat. It was like trick. And, you know, we used to, really, when I think about it, it was quite naughty. We used to take gates off, people's gates off, <laughs> off the hinges. I lived in a village. The village benches would end up in someone else's village 
or they used to and I'm not saying I used to do this I didn't I wasn't that bad I was only a little at the time yeah Angelo mischief now I think it's a Yorkshire thing or an, certainly a northern thing I know there's not everyone does it um, but yeah we used to put the um, village benches in people's gardens <laughs> if your house was up for sale your for sale notice would be gone and it would be in someone else's garden um, historically they used to um, put treacle and anything like really sticky on front door knobs and door knockers and just like really childish stupid things to do but we were children you know it was like the the worst thing was when um the older children used to join in you know that were kind of like more teenagers but for us as the little kids you know we kind of it, it was like little small fry stuff really you know um uh, yeah, so I probably shouldn't actually <laughs> admit to that, but it was really good fun. The funnest bit of it, actually, rather than actually going out on Mischief Night, the best part of it was actually going to school on the school bus the next day. And because we were high up in the bus, we could see the, the absolute uh, apocalypse. It was, sometimes it was like an apocalypse in certain villages I think maybe it was a village thing because we were bored and we didn't have as much to do used to tie the dustbin lid to the letterbox yeah knock on the door and run off yeah that's what we yeah yeah we did yeah so there was a lot of knocking on doors and running off and kind of like not in putting shoelaces and things together tying things up and stuff like that I remember one year we we took the for sale notice out of someone's garden and put it in my best friend's parents she didn't go out because her parents were teachers and put it in her parents garden and they went ballistic over it it was just you know it's just a bit fun but um yeah it was never anything like really horrendous like as in criminal damage but yeah it used to be hilarious though that the following morning to actually see everything that had happened so yeah, it was like trick or treat, but with no treats. Anyway, let's get on, shall we? So this is why Halloween's my favourite time of the year. Over and above Christmas, Halloween is my thing. I just think it's so cute. It's the one opportunity when you can just go completely crazy. Anything goes. So who is ready for the big release? Oh, okay. The website, don't, don't all leave me. But the website is actually live. I had to turn it on before I came on because I thought you'd all be, you know, moaning at me if I didn't actually make it live and made you wait for yet another hour. So, um, yeah, Sue did it as well, knocking on doors and running off, yeah. Maybe we need to do a Mischief Night stamp set. That'd be quite fun. I think there's only certain... I don't know whether they still do it now, though. Maybe only certain generations could, could get it. Anyway, right, we still have one more... Uh, or another couple of things that I haven't even shown you yet so well I'm gonna kind of do the whole thing together and then it'll just kind of all gel together hopefully so I've got all my little piles I was really organized earlier Um hopefully my mic's not gonna cut out hopefully oh, it would help if I turn my camera on won't it excuse me one second just like honestly all these things you have to remember could you just Chris can you just turn my camera on please it does <laughs> help I'll yep. just give that a second to boot in um, let me see is it there honestly everything's been going wrong if we go offline it's because we were just having like thunder so um, this is why things haven't been working very well today because we, we had a lot of thunder storms last night okay let's go for it then so I'm going to turn the overhead camera on oh look isn't this a fun new release <laughs> oh, I'm just pulling your leg so I'm going to give you a little tease okay so we have I kind of have them all in piles here but I'm going to pull the products out for you so just to give you a really good overview of what you're actually going to get or what you can get um, I'll pull them everything together so we have five brand new stamp sets and we have 
four matchable die sets. So um, there's, there's one. Let's see the stamp on there. Okay. So we have four. These, these are all matching. This one isn't. So we have Scary Boo. We have Happy Halloween. We've got Grab Your Broomstick. All with matching dies so this is our new range of called matchables um, so you'll always see this on the packaging and on each one it'll actually tell you so on the die it actually gives you the skew number of the matching stamp so if you are ever in a store you'll be able to to see what matches what okay so we've got those four three then we have the hocus pocus so hocus pocus is your sentiment set you don't have to go for this because each set does have a couple of sentiments in there but I just think these are really cool and this one if you haven't seen it before is a wonderful haunted house that you will also be able to colour up as a fairy house I'm going to just show you that as well we definitely were in, agree in agreement about this yesterday so um, great haunted house let me pull that up to the camera just wonder if you can let me just see if I can zoom. Oh, there you go. Um, so, really, this is quite detailed, but it isn't as difficult to color as you think it is. Nice, good size stamp. Color it different ways in pinks and purples. Easily becomes a fairy house. Look at that. That could easily be a fairy tale house, couldn't it? And then that one is, and again, you know, you could, if you just took the bats out there is little tiny bats on here but you don't really notice them to be honest they look like leaves and things so I wouldn't worry about it so it's definitely versatile I designed it that way um, so that's the hocus pocus so on my desk here we have something new that I'll come to in a second um, so that's your four stamp set four main stamp sets lots of goodies i'm so excited about bringing you the die matchables so we have another set here so this set is actually called fantastic so we haven't seen this yet this is brand new so you've got your dies here again really good quality dies this is actually one of my packs so your pack will look a little bit different um, but basically you can see in this set how many dies you're getting the only ones that I'm not giving you uh, uh, well in this set you get a die for everything the only dies we won't put in matchable sets is when you've got um, sentiments in them so I'm not going to put the sentiment dies in unless I think that you really need it if it's an odd shape or something like that so let's take a look at the matching stamp set here so fantastic so this one I kind of really wanted this was almost like an extra set because I wanted you to be able to have all these extra little pieces when I design I always design like a big batch of stuff because I get quite inspired and then I kind of pull things out and kind of group things together and see how it all work, works together and looks and these were all kind of leftover pieces that I didn't have room for but I wanted you to have them so this is why we've ended up with five stamp sets so you've got a happy birthday banner here you've got little stars here which is going to make great borders and things like that um, a little bat um, a little monster head, a little candy apple which I think is really cute there I love this chandelier, this is really spooky this chandelier it's got little, can you see all the skulls hanging off it how cool is that, I love that you've got a really great sentiment googly eyed cone so those of you uh, that were, saw me going through the spooky special paper pack which we'll look at it again in a minute that matches that and all these elements are actually in the paper pack this is really awesome on the design team have loved using this so look at the size of these so you thought they were going to be tiny didn't you but look how big they are so you've got the sentiments about two inches all your uh, little pumpkins are around an inch to an inch and a half you've got this fab little ghost is he on the front oh yeah he is your happy Halloween banner here and this is actually in two sections so you'll be able to die cut that into two pieces look so this is your um, die cut for that 
So all of these elements, the little bat, and do you know what my favourite stamp is in here? Is actually this, look at this mug with um, the Halloween face on it and every, the spooky face and it's got all marshmallows and uh, I don't know, what ice cream, whatever it could be. It looks like a, um, an ice cream soda kind of thing. So this is fantastic. So on the website we've actually done you an, another big I want it all deal um, so that you can actually get everything. Let me just show you some samples with this set first of all because we haven't seen these yet. So we have another awesome shaker card. I love shaker cards. They just never go away do they? I think the whole time I've ever been car making in like 20 years shaker cards have just been a real hit so I love this one so she's just decorated with all the different elements sequins of glitter inside very cool and your papers on the on to, to sort of decorate who made that one I'm not sure I think that might be either Maz or Yolanda that looks like or it might be Judy I did get some samples from Judy from the US as well we've got this fabulous one as well so just making kind of like a, a mosaic -y win it looks like a window, doesn't it, the way that she's done it. But I love that, that's fab. And another one here. So these are super easy, really easy cards because you're just going to, um, you know, they're not going to take a long time to cook, uh, to colour because, oh, it was Ela uh, Yolanda, Elaine, sorry, Yolanda. Ghoulish Frappuccino, oh my gosh, that sounds like it should be a, a colour. I'm going to make that into a colourie lane. We'll have a paper pack called Ghoulish Frappuccino. <laughs> um, I love this one. And this, the design team, have loved this stamp out of this set. I love the way she's split this down and actually combined two. So it's quite clever. So if you look, the original stamp had Happy Halloween in the middle. But she's split that out and actually put the banner in instead, which I think works really, really well. I wouldn't have thought of doing that. Love that. Got the papers in the pack. Everything matches. Here's another one. Just gorgeous. I just love how these all just kind of collage together. They're just so much fun. So, And there's the final one. So just really, really cool cards. These are great for boys because they're not, um, you know, you haven't got loads of witches and you've got all these kind of fun funky more boyish elements in so I think this set will work really well with the happy Halloween um, which is the one with the werewolf on so that's kind of why I wanted these elements in so that he had something that went with Mr. Werewolf as well off Ralph as he's been named <laughs> Ralph the werewolf so that is fantastic so um the other things that I wanted to show you, I still have, remember we were looking at our little pocket dies. So we had our back candy, we've seen the Halloween border edge. Um, what else did we see? Gosh, I can't remember, that's an, an extra. What have we seen? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what we've seen now. So these are what I call little pocket dies and it's just really because they're kind of pocket size but you're still getting plenty of dies in here and they're a really good value price so you're getting all of these elements on this one the um, gravestone actually says RIP on it and um, this is the Halloween border edge which I'll show you some samples for in a minute we have the pumpkins I think we saw that yesterday I'm not sure um, this one is one die but you're going to get three cuts out of this one um, so really really useful and a nice size they look fab I just love those so I know you haven't seen this one yet so we have spooky hat so this is two dies you're going to get the cobweb and the hat and you actually get the little buckle and everything on the hat to, to actually kind of decoupage and layer that up. How cute is that? But you can see all of these dies are round about two, two and a half inches, somewhere like that each. So perfectly sized to go on a card um, so they're not too big. We also have our ghosties, which I think is going to be a real favourite. Um, and again, you're going to get three dies in this set. So you've got the two ghosts and then you've got the little bits that are going to make their eyes and their mouth. 
um, whether or not you use those because they are quite fiddly um, you know it's up to you you could just colour it on really with a black marker but it's entirely up to you and then finally to complete this set of six there's actually six of these um, we have Hubble Bubble which is your broomstick your witch's cauldron and your witch's shoes and I think you've been waiting to see where the witch's shoes came from because if you look at this card this is where the witch's shoes come from and again this is a lot bigger than you think on this die look so these these are actually a really good size these as is the cauldron and the broom so in fact like when they, they just find a different had a different sample maybe it's in a different pile somewhere I'll come across it somewhere um, but yeah so you know this is just fab uh, just to have the little shoes and you've even got the little tabs here uh, so the little tongs that go into the shoes so that you can actually decorate them up yeah it is a huge release huge release definitely um, this and the Christmas release together I think they're the biggest releases we've ever done in terms of how many products there are it's crazy don't forget as well before I forget if you um, spend over 50 pounds on Halloween you're gonna get one of these amazing lookbooks which actually gives you all the inspiration from the design team so you're going to get, while stocks last I have to say, because we don't actually have a huge amount of these, um, these are actually going out to our retail stores, um, but these are great for some inspiration so you've got ideas. But I have to say, if you go onto the website, how many of you look in the gallery? Let me know in the comments how many of you actually look in the gallery, because there are thousands of samples in the gallery. We had something like 100 samples for this release on its own and a hundred and odd for the more than that for the Christmas they're all in the gallery so you can literally pull the gallery up take a look at it and then um, you can have it in front of you and just craft along with it so um, just to kind of go over then so we've got the Halloween edge die here which is um, this where's it gone this die so that's the one that's going to cut out of your cardstock and you trim it down it actually doesn't it's not a loose piece you can actually edge it along your card or make it pop out or whatever you want to do we've got the little ghosties die here um, and look look at this one this is super cute here we go so this is the broomstick and along with I actually put this one together with the woodland door die if you want that woodland door die you need to get that because that is going to sell out we're actually getting low on stock on that already uh, it's crazy been crazy busy for that one and then we've got that look that was the happy halloween from the new fantastic stamp set that i showed you earlier um i want to just show you some other things that i haven't shown you yet let me get some paper so we can see what we're doing look at this amazing card so this is made by Maz this one so Maz has used the Halloween the Halloween the snow globe die to actually create this is a an actual um, tent tent fold card so she's created the snow globe die she had a lot of fun with this die set so this is all the pieces that you're going to get in here um, and it's super versatile if you if this is the first time you've joined me think of this for Halloween we've been saying all week you can make this into a cauldron you could make it into um, a crystal ball you know we did this yesterday just quickly as I was waiting to go live with you guys you can do lots of things with this so that's what she used to make this then this is so clever she's used so many different things on here so she has then used the woodland door die so she's used that but she's actually cut it with the snow globe circle which is just fabulous so now we have like a little pumpkin is this really reminds me and this is what i was trying to think of before you know yesterday i said there's something else we can make with this and i can't quite put my finger on it I can't remember what it, what the idea was and I've just remembered it's Cinderella's pumpkin carriage you know the pumpkin carriage 
all you need to do is put wheels on the side of it how amazing would that be and actually if you've got gosh I'm going off on tangent again sorry um, if you put um, you could even join the wheels with this Halloween border edge die um, but anyway so she's then added so this is the woodland door you've then she's then used the pumpkin dies to act, and the hat die to actually make up this pumpkin scary thing <laughs> and the ivy is out of the woodland door as well we've got more pumpkins around the top and then that border edge die so absolutely amazing I think it's fantastic card it's one of my favorites I just love this absolutely love it okay so let's move on we've then got this one again using the broomstick the little ghosts a different variation of the one I made earlier here's another one another variation this is why the woodland door is selling out because look how versatile it is again broomstick ghosties how cute is that your little bat your cobweb and then your um, edger at the top there and you've even got your ivy and the bits and pieces look I love how you get the little um, hinges for the door and the actual frame that you can cut into something else so super cute that one then we've got another one this I think this is Maz as well yeah so she was on a theme with her pumpkin man how cute is this and again using that door die in a completely different way and using the stamps to match fabulous absolutely love that one uh right okay i think um we will have another quick flick of some of the other products because i think not not all of you have been here on F on on these shows all week so we have spooky special craft papers so these are all going to match and all these elements are a lot of not every single thing but most of these elements are actually in the stamps so everything is going to mix and match there's those googly eyes get your eye get your googly eyes out you know those things that you have in that drawer that you always think i'm not going to throw that away it will i will need it one day this is the time when you're going to need your googly eyes so that's your paper pack so 24 sheets 12 designs two of each beautiful um we also have our stencils so we'll take a quick flick through the stencils as well so we have going batty which is going to look amazing with gesso with gilding flakes with all of that kind of stuff make it you know whether you do it on black card or white card and color it, it'll just look fabulous um then we have let me get these out of the way so we have our we should have called these astonishing stencils i think i think these are amazing i really do so we have terrifying skull stencil and you actually get a second stencil here which is the bat so you can actually place this i did it as a little tiny one so you can actually decide where you want to put this rather than it actually being just attached in there um so we've kind of been saying this all week about how versatile this whole collection is and that it isn't only for Halloween so you could actually mask this area off and if you just use this you could easily make that into a castle a fairy castle you could um, repeat stencil to actually create kind of like a row of houses and start to create a scene and that would also work really if you did that look if you used this is actually the um, scenic winter stencil which we launched in the Christmas collection but all of these stencils also work with this so look how you could I mean you can see it there look you build that into a scene there or what you could do is you could actually bring your trees in and you could build that into your scene there the only bit that's not really going to work is your Santa sleigh here but I'm sure Jane will stamp soup that and find some way of using it <laughs> so you could easily mask that off just use this piece or you could just use this piece you could just use it as a border there the top border you know even if you look even if you cut that off let me grab. look 
you could even cut that off there and look how great that looks you wouldn't even know it had been cut off it just looks like you know a little beach house or something like that so you can do lots and lots of different things with this stencil fabulous stencil I think you can have some really good fun with that and just to give you a, a look again if you haven't seen it before to um, this is sort of some examples of what you can do so this is the look if you were going to actually it's not really a stencil this one it's more of a mask so you could actually mask some black card and then this is what you're going to kind of end up with if you put colour in behind or put gilding flakes whatever or if you did it the other way and actually coloured your background and uh, onto white card then you could go in with your pens your markers whatever and do it that way so lots of different things so let's take a look at the third stencil which is called lying in wait so this one again kind of a scene builder so again this would layer up I would do a couple of these so that you can get like some real depth in those grasses and then you've got your big spider here but you've got your second stencil here so you could actually place that and actually add some extra bits and pieces in if you wanted to you know you can build that up as much as you like and as we said yesterday you know this will layer over your haunted house as well you know you could easily put the the pumpkin there and then just bring the grasses in as well and you know you can actually build those right up so that they're they're all gonna work together perfectly um okay so the other stencil that was designed specifically to work across both collections is this one which is called starry nights so this has little snowball-y type um, stars in there. They can be snow, it can be whatever you want, just dots. These gorgeous little stars here and then a big swirly star here. And this is, you know, you can get all sorts of looks. We did this yesterday just using this and a few of these kind of little ones, I think. Um, but you know if you just use it as a swirl it looks amazing great for creating that magical look and then also I'm going to bring in the No Amazing stencils as well from the No Amazing collection because these work as well you can easily see that you know all you need is to do a nice purpley orange green background with this one and you're going to get that real spooky forest uh, kind of look going on and again just to look at this one the scenic winter is it scenic winter scenic winter yeah so this one is scenic woodland and this one is scenic winter so again with this you actually layer up so you're going to put your trees in you're going to have all your little houses and everything and you know you can you can easily build that up there do you know that would look fab look you could even imagine if you did that how cool would that look you know you could easily do that so you know really play around with them you're going to get a huge amount out of your stencils so uh, oh, I'm out of breath uh, can I take a breath how long does I was going to say how long does it normally take you to shut up talking Nikki that's what I thought you were going to say um how long does it normally take to receive if shipped to the US it really depends on customs uh, sometimes it can be a week sometimes it can be two to three weeks it really depends um, I have to say we're we've had a little bit of a delay this week with some orders um, which is resolved now but we've got a little bit of a backlog but only only a day or so so if you have been waiting for your orders to ship they will all ship by Monday so um, we're coming in all over the weekend to actually sort those out I've had problems with the um, postage system so um, right I showed you those let's have another quick flick at some of the samples so this one is from happy Halloween fab tag this is the big creepy tree border stencil from last year another really great one with the little witch the little witch has been really popular how fabs this coloring her in sepia and then these are all from the same stamp set so this is all happy Halloween love this so Jane's created a table here with all the potion pouring out we've got our little werewolf um, 
and there he is again mr werewolf how cute is that so does anyone have any more questions for me i need to just take a breath and have a drink of coffee okay so we looked at hocus pocus already so let's look at scary boo love this card so much i think it's super cute how adorable is that so that's your scary boo set and again you'll you know you'll see how we've pulled all the products together and mixed and matched everything even this circle is from the snow globe die so you know the, the woodland door all your papers i adore this let me put my card away put the card away with that. Well, I just put my piece of card, never mind. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that one. Look how cute that is. So, a great bookmark. And then we've used the Halloween edge die here and then just assembled all these elements. Look, even the candles from the, um, they're on a stick. So, there's like a stick with candles on. Absolutely love this one. And then we've got more pumpkins. So, this one kind of flips out this one I adore because this whole background has been stamped um, so it's just a really great way how to use your stamps and create something very different I think none of us really do that very much anymore got lots of design team girls that are there that are online right now you're getting lots of compliments and yes I absolutely agree they've done an amazing job with these samples uh, these are actually just the ones that I've got so you need to make sure you go to the gallery and see all the ones on the gallery or go into the um, polka doodles craft coloring craft stamp color I can never remember the name of that group craft stamping craft stamp and coloring group and you'll be able to the girls are all going to be sharing their work over the next week so um, along with all the the Christmas so it's going to go Christmas crazy and Halloween what, what Christmas cake crazy and Halloween let's holler for for Halloween I think we need to say so another little cute tag here scary 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 trick or treats and another one here so these are all the kind of mix and match some of the elements a lot of these ones um, keep you touching this one I'm not showing you I love this one look at this with all the this has got all the googly eyes in the tree all going through the tree and the little bats there how and up here super cool and then we've got witches so we've got a Winnie witch I love this one absolutely adore it adorable this one you know it's completely different look more clean and simple this stencil is our heavenly circle stencil if you don't have that one and again this one is using our cobweb stencil from last year as well and another one which is just fabulous as well absolutely amazing all the samples have just blown me away they're so creative the girls have done an amazing job um, so thank you girls um, we've got Kim Kim Stewart who's online Yolanda, Maz, Jane, Merger, Anna's around somewhere. I don't think I don't think Anna can make it. She's uh, in Croatia, I think. I think she works, so she probably isn't around. Um, and I'm not sure who else there is. There's somebody else I'm missing. Oh, Sam Ball as well. Samantha Ball. Um, she's not here, I don't think. So, um, but yeah, thank you, girls. You you've literally just done me absolutely proud there's a little bat hiding in there um so just to look at these again so this is the new fantastic collection again which is the one that we've just revealed today so that's it that's your halloween collection so i hope you love it as much as i do i've not really had a chance to play around with it yet it's just so crazy busy um and um it is there on the website so um, everything's there and active for you now there's a big I want it all deal there's also a code on there for 15% off um, it does not work on the want it all deal 
but you can get 15% off everything within the Halloween collection. The, it's called Go Batty, the collection. So um, the code is actually there in the category at the top of the page for you. Um, so make sure you watch for that and you actually use the code. Um, and that's actually there until the end of September and then it's done. So limit or until stock la stocks last because if it runs out then um, that will be no good. Um, so what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I've got a winner. Let me just write this name out. So I need to do two winners, don't I? So I need to pick a winner from today as well. But we're going to have the winner from yesterday is Paula Hill. So Paula, if you, I don't know if you're around today or not, but Paula, you were yesterday's winner. So if you want to message me through the Polka Doodles page or through the website, um, you will get the little giveaway from yesterday, which uh, I can't remember what it was, I think. I think it was the, um, you're going to get stamps. <laughs> I've mixed everything up. I had like little piles and I've mixed them all up. So yesterday we did um, Happy Halloween. So you're going to get Happy Halloween stamp and die set and a couple of the uh, smaller dies as well and a stencil. So well done Paula. And then I need to pick a winner from today's comments. So Chris, do you want to pick a winner? Mind you, you there's a lot of design team here today. You might not know who they are. He'll end up picking a design team person, right? I'm just going to flick and put my, I'm going to flick and put my cursor down. Okay, I've got somebody. I think this person might be really happy. I need to show you what you're going to win first of all. So you are going to get. Okay, so Sue Nicholson. Yay! Sue Nicholson, you are today's winner. <laughs> Mr. Doodles just jumped out of his chair then. So, Sue, congratulations. You are also going to get the fantastic stamp and the die set to match and the going back to stencil and you're also going to get the Halloween edge of die as well so Sue and um, contact me with your um, just with your details and we'll sort that out for you get that in the post well done um, and that's it everyone I've managed to I had the most to reveal today and I've actually talked the less today than anything else so well done everyone that did win uh, congratulations if you did and I look forward to seeing what everyone makes in the group I will be doing um, some classes for you as well we'll do some uh, Facebook live classes over the next week for you um, I'm saying classes let me say class <laughs> I'll try <laughs> don't want to overcommit. I know how much I've got to do this week I've got no staff this week so um, it's a little bit crazy but I will definitely do a class for you over the next week um, I'll put details up online so that you can all join me and I'll try and post it in plenty of time so that you, you can join me hopefully um, maybe if we do it at the back end of the week and then some of you might actually have your goodies and you might be able to craft along with me um, so I'm just reading some of the things love the new release lives you need to do them for every release yes we do we definitely do to be honest I've had a really bad back since the beginning of July and I've not been able to stand or sit very well so that's kind of why um, not that it's an excuse because we haven't done a new release in that time anyway but <laughs> but um, yeah we, we are on a mission to try and do more more lives for you all so yeah definitely watch this space i would love to be able to do them every week for you so that's kind of what i'm aiming for but i can't promise that's um, chris is pulling chat. chris is pulling faces at me so 
he he keeps moaning at me saying you've got to do them you've got to do them so I am I'm on a mission to do them for you right I'm gonna let you guys go because it's Friday night I'm sure you've all got amazing places to be don't forget to head to the website and grab all your goodies um, I'm not making it up we actually have ship been shipping out to all the retail stores for the last uh, six weeks we launched this to retail stores six weeks ago and our stock is really low so um, yeah just in fact one of the paper packs already sold out before we even launched so um, I hope you love it thank you so much for joining me and I will catch up with you very soon see you around on social media thanks a lot everyone bye bye have a great weekend <laughs>